Ta-da! Right here I have 23 equals B minus 18. And a lot of students take this um, and they get it confused because they're so used to having the variable on the left side. It's very helpful for us to always put that variable on the left side to get you know to get you guys to get in practice but the variable doesn't have to be on the left side we like our ending solution to have the variable on the left side but when we're solving we can solve it with the variable on the right side as well so here remember we're just going to follow the same steps what is happening to my variable i need to isolate it right i need to get my variable by itself so i have b minus 18. well what is happening to my variable here it's pretty obvious for you to see that b is being subtracted from 18. So to undo subtraction, the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So since I'm adding an 18 there, I need to make sure I add an 18 on the other side to show my um, addition property of equality and to keep equivalent equations. So now I have b, negative 18 plus 18 gives us 0. 23 plus 18 is going to give us 41. Now, a variable plus zero, any number plus variable, the addition property of zero is just going to give you back your variable. So I have 41 equals b, which we can now switch around with the flexor property where b equals 41. And there you go. That's how you solve that problem. Thanks.